Good day, I'm Cho Yihan. Now I will be presenting a revitalized and innovative center for Klang River, located right next to the Klang River and Akle Highway that separated the urban city center and Kampung Datuk Keramat. The selected proposed site that was chosen was located at Damai 33 area, which right in the middle of Kampung Baru and Kampung Datuk Keramat. With the front page facing Jalan Damai and rear side facing Klang River, this became the source of my idea. The people from both sides of the Klang River are disconnected since the construction of the giant concrete monster, Akre Highway. It also changed the city image, where rapid development of city centre are contrasting to the Kampung settlement that retained its original identity. Besides that, young generation are not aware of the real situation of the river and the importance of water resources. They are also lacking of fundamental knowledge of river preservation. For local authorities or NGO, they don't have an appropriate platform to raise awareness to protect our river. In addition, the locals do know and don't appreciate for the hard work of the cleaners done as there are still many people simply throw rubbish into the river. Here come up to my intentions. Firstly, I intended to break the boundary in order to reconnect the people on both sides. Secondly, to inspire more Malaysian youngsters to involve in river protection. Thirdly, my intention is to attract more investors in advanced technology, recovery and related R&D in water resource management. The idea is, how can I reconnect the people and the river and also the Kampung settlement and the urban city? With that, my design concept is to create an integrated training center where learning, working and innovation meet in a sustainable environment. Therefore, these are some of my design strategies to achieve my design concept. Firstly, the building elevated in such a way to imitate the traditional Malay steel house to deal with the potential flooding problem. Next, the atrium is connected all the main programs which are learning, training, working and gathering. By responding to the water edge, the building is positioned in such a way to inviting people from Riverside, but to frame view towards proposed public plaza instead of Akre Highway. Besides, the implementation of double pitch roof and deep overhang are responded to the local climate, and the shading devices are concentrated at eastern and western side to reduce heat gain. As flooding issue is getting serious nowadays, elevated planter's box, fast draining pavement, bioswill are considered to reduce rainwater runoff from the building. Targeted users will be focused on preschoolers and teenagers as there are many schools and institutional, local community and also JPS officials and researchers. Crane River Revitalized and Innovative Center introduced a journey from gathering, learning, to training and working. People are invited in and to celebrate the togetherness between old and new, people and river. Now, let's have a look on Klang River Revitalized and Innovative Center.